Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the probability generating function. Today we will discuss about how you can find the mean and variance from the probability generating function. This lecture is very useful whenever you are trying for the CSRNet, GATE or the other competition exams. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Upper Institute, India. You can simply follow this channel name Dr. Harish Gar for finding the various videos on the probability and statistics. So the objective of this lecture is to find how you can find the mean and variances like EX, EX square. This is for the moments are there. If you want to find some higher moments like of say skewness, ketosis and many more are there, then you need the E of X cube, X4 and so on. So the objective of this, how you can learn this, how you can calculate these values from the moment pr probability generating functions are. We have seen in the last lecture that how you can find the probabilities from the uh, moment uh, pro from the probability generating functions are here which is available on my channel name dr harish garks are here what is the probability generating functions are there if you have defined uh, it is defined firstly only for the uh, discrete random variables and it is defined as expected values of here clearly see that whenever you take s as e raised to power t then this pgf will convert it into the moment generating function that we already discussed in our last lecture. So if whenever you have expand the expected value, what is the expected value of the x, you can write this as x of the probability generating function or the probability mass function are here. Since this is an infinite series, so whenever this series converges, then you can call as the pro uh, probability generating function denoted as g of x. Now how you can find the expected and the moments are there, that is the mean variance and the higher powers are there. So we can start from here. If you take the first derivative, you can take the derivative of this with respect to the s. What will happen? You can take the derivative of this with respect to s are here. Since this is with respect to the s, so this part is my constant. So I can take the derivative of this only. Now take s is my 1 because our target is to find of this. So what is the value? What is the expression behind that? This is of here. So it means we we have to eliminate this part coefficient of the s so when it will be eliminated when, when i take s as a one so what is that you can see this is nothing but my expected value so what is the meaning of that once you know expect one once you derive the probability generating function then take the first derivative which is nothing but my expected value how you can find the x square so it since it is a square you can take the second derivative of this now again you can take s is equal to 1 you will get this expression what is that can you imagine that what is the expression of this this is nothing but expected values of here i can open this bracket this is nothing but x square minus of x i can open this one here what is that this is e of x is nothing but the first derivative of the pgf now, now i can find this value from here like of this once you know the e x square once you know the e of x you can compute the variance values as here or uh, in general if you want to find the e of x cube or e of x4 and so on you can take the that much derivatives so if you take the kth derivative of this s raised to power x what will happen this is nothing but my x x minus 1 x minus 2 this part is nothing but my of here and of this now again take s is my 1 you will get as of this so this is the expected value of here for example if you have the Poisson distribution with vari random variable and this we derive in our last lecture how you can derive the pgf of here calculate the mean and the variance we all knows that the Poisson distribution the mean is nothing but the parameter lambda variance is also with the lambda how you can derive that so that is you have to calculate this so if you look about that you need the g of x which is already be there you have to compute the first derivative and you need the second derivative so i can take the first derivative of this this is the first derivative with respect to the s you can take the second derivative with respect to here now at s is equal to one what is the value of this you can see this is here one minus one so one minus one is zero e raised to power 0 that is a 1 so it is nothing but my lambda what is the second derivative again you can see this value is my 1 so it is nothing but my lambda square this is my 1 so and now based on this you can find the mean mean is nothing but the e of x is here you can substitute the e of x here minus 
here so this will be cancel out you can see the mean and variances both are same for you similarly if you have the uh, probability generating function for the binomial distribution this is again we derived here you all knows that the mean is nothing but the np variance is nothing but npq how you can derive that you can see these are here we can take the first derivative this is the first derivative you can take the second derivative you can see this is my second derivative now at s is equal to 1 what is the value of this at s is 1 so whenever s is 1 this is nothing but my p plus q is 1 of here so this is nothing but my np and what is the second derivative at a 1 this is n n minus 1 again p plus q is my 1 and p square that is my here so now i can substitute the second derivative here first derivative this is here. so this is nothing but my mean mean is nothing but the e of x we can compute the variance by using here this is the value now you can open this bracket this is n square p square minus n p square plus n p minus n square p square now you can see this will be cancel out i can take n p as a comma this is 1 minus p what is the 1 minus p this is nothing but my q is Similarly, for the geometric distribution, how you can compute the mean and variance? We all know that the, for the mean, it is nothing but by 1 by p. Sorry, this is the variance. How you can compute the mean and the variance? So, variance is nothing but q by p square. So, we can start from here. So, we can see again, we need the first derivative and the second derivative. You can compute the first derivative. How you can compute that? This is here, 1 minus q of s into p minus p s of minus q now once you will open this this is p minus p q s plus p q s upon here so you can see this part will be cancelled out so it will be p upon 1 minus q s square that is the derivative of here similarly you can compute the second derivative and take s is equal to 1 so once you take s is equal to 1 what will happen this is p this is a p square it will be cancelled out 1 by p so this value is nothing but my 1 by p similarly you can substitute the value here this will be get you can substitute both the values you will get this. so therefore this is nothing but my mean and the variance you can compute by substituting here so how you can do that because you can see what is the 2 i can substitute 2 q plus p minus 1 so i can write here as 1 minus p what is the 1 minus p that is nothing but q so 2q minus q is nothing but my q is there. say here if you have some generating function is given to be here you have to find the mean and the variance again the task is similar take the first derivative and the second derivatives are here at s is equal to 1 you can compute these values you will get 11 by 5 and 18 by 5 substitute this value here you will get this you can substitute this value you will get as here so after the calculation you will get this is the required answer similarly you can see a perfect coin is tossed two times p so a coin a coin is tossed two times p so how many outcomes are there there are the four outcomes are there h t t h are here so if i represent the x is my number of the heads so what is the maximum number of the heads you can obtain and the minimum number of heads? Minimum is 0, maximum is my 2. So it means I can construct the random variable as 0, 1, 2. Can you define the probability corresponding to them? When there is no head, the probability is 1 by 4. When there is a 1 head, it means that is a 2 by 4. And when there is 2 head only is a, so this is the PGM. This is the PMM, probability mass function now how you can find the mean and variance so there are the two ways you can simply find the mean of x x into px that is nothing but my 0 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is my 1 similarly you can find the e of x square what is that this is x square of px so how you can find the x square of this that's a 0 square of 1 by 4 is 0 1 square of this 4 upon 4 so that is nothing but my 3 by 2 so therefore what is the variance of the x e x square minus e x whole square that is nothing but my 1 by 2 
the second method is you all know that this follows the binomial distribution and once it's a binomial distribution the mean is my np and the variance is my npq n is my how many times you toss is a two times what is the probability of the head is my half so if you substitute here what is the value of the mean so mean is nothing but my np that is two of here is my one the you can see this a match variance is nothing but my npq and p k is again half so it is again the half you can see these values are again math this is a second method the third method is you can define firstly the pgf corresponding to this random experiment and then find that how you can find the pgf is there you can start from here since x varies from 0 1 2 so i can substitute the value here x is 0 corresponding probability is 1 by 4 x is my 1 corresponding probability is 1 S is my two corresponding probability is my here. Now you can take as a four as the LCM. S of zero is my one. This is my two S. This is my S square. So what is that? This is nothing but my here. Also, once you know that this is a binomial distribution, you all know that the PGF of the binomial distribution is my here. You can substitute directly as n is my two, p is my two. Sorry, p probability is my half. So you can see this is a one. and here you can see this is the value of this is same as we derive here now once you know the pgf are there you can find the mean and variance by using their derivatives so what is the first derivative of this this is my first derivative this is my second derivative you can substitute here you will get this expression hence the mean and variance is are there mean is nothing but my 1 this is 3 by 4 minus 1 square that is nothing but my half look at one more example are there so how you can find the probability generating function corresponding to this and hence find the mean and variance so you can see what is a this are discrete values so x consists of only two values are there and the corresponding probabilities are my there 2 by 3 1 by 2 now this is same as that of this case now you can find the probabilities by using here so how you can do that let me do here how you can find that this is 1 i can write firstly as a summation of this now once you will open this one expression how you can do that this is s raised to power 1 of 2 by 3 s raised to power 2 of 1 by 3 so 3 will be lcm so it's a 2s plus s square upon 3 is the required probability generating functions of here how you can find the mean and the variances you can start with again with the same rule you can substitute this value you can compute the second derivative substitute here and then you can compute the variances as here so 2 minus 16 by 18 that is 18 minus 16 by 9 that is my 2 by 9 is the required answer so this is the way you can compute the mean and variances remember these two simple formulas are we will see in our next class how you can uh, state the various properties of the probability generating functions till then you can simply like subscribe share and comments on this video on the channel name dr harish garg best of luck students thank you